Direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access. It's Foxborough Central, and here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another episode of Foxborough Central. You heard the man, I am Bob Hickey, thanking you for taking a little bit of time to join with me and my guests as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough truly the gem of Norfolk County. For those of you who uh, are here in Foxborough and are fans of our town, you know the very important part of our community was lost uh, over a year and a half ago in 2014, April 5th, I believe to be precise, of 2014, when the Lakeview Pavilion burned to the ground uh, due to a careless cigarette. So we'll get into the whole thing about smoking some other day, but let's suffice to say, don't do that anymore. So from the ashes, like the Phoenix, has risen a new Lakeview Pavilion. I'm blessed to be joined today by sisters Anastasia and Natalia. Anastasia, see nice you. To and nice to meet you. Natalia. Uh, with the, uh, we are with the contingent of owners for Lakeview Pavilion, co-owners. Yes. And thank you so much for joining us today on Foxborough Central. Thank you for How inviting are we doing? us. Well, absolutely. Yeah. How are we doing? We're doing great. Doing Fantastic. Good. And I guess that Lakeview Pavilion has done well also. You have risen from the ashes, built a beautiful new facility. And before we get started, I want to tell everybody at home that at the end of this program, we are going to cut to uh, some footage of the ribbon cutting ceremony. So uh, what we're going to talk about is why you should have been there on that Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015, and why, if you weren't there, you should go to Lakeview Pavilion and maybe book your uh, event, your wedding reception, uh, bingo night, I don't know, let's find <laughs> out. Can we have bingo night at Lakeview? Yes. Why not? Why not, <laughs> exactly, I like to tell you. So let's start with you to tell you. Uh, you are a co-owner of the facility, <laughs> and what do you do out there? Well, as an owner, we also are um, wedding planners, event planners. Mm -hmm. um, we almost do everything, like if you, whatever it takes, from the front of the house to the back of the house, everywhere. Well, I know you answer the phone because when I read in everybody's favorite newspaper, the Foxborough Reporter, and I, I read all about the uh, then upcoming mm -hmm. ribbon ceremony, uh, I called and you're the one who answered the phone. So well, you, you answer there. your own phone, always there. When we say Lakeview feels like home, it yeah. is our home. Well, there you go. I, I, I hope that you uh, do actually get to leave the facility once in a while. But for folks who are coming out there, uh, and especially what can people see or expect to see? Is it going to be just um, like the old one or is it new and improved? Um, well, it's very modern, very luxury, very beautiful. Um, the new Lakeview is going to feature two ballrooms. Um, one of the ballrooms, which is the Lakeside Ballroom, will accommodate up to 165 people. And the Lakeview Ballroom will accommodate up to 300. Wow. We kept the, um, the beautiful cathedral ceilings that the old Lakeview had, but it has beautiful windows that capture the outdoors. And it has this, with the beautiful New England kind of setting, it has beautiful chandeliers. It has state-of-the-art kitchen that is um, with our um, chef, um, Chris Smaller. It has um, bridal suites. It has um, outdoor deck and terrace and a beautiful gazebo for outdoor ceremonies. Now, it's, it's great that you mentioned the New England Appeal because one of the appeals of that facility in, in, is, is that it's right on the water. Uh, and with that, sounds as though you're encompassing the, the natural elements outdoors and trying to bring them indoors. Yes, because when you are inside, you feel like you, um, you are outside, you're part of the outside mm -hmm. because of the, the, um, the beautiful windows. That's, you can see the trees, the, the sky, the, um, the setting of the New England setting of the outside. Okay, so as we sit here and we're just chatting like friends, uh, I, I can't help but think that um, the way the Lakeview Pavilion was, was a beautiful place. I, uh, I, I remember fondly going there and for dancing and also for some charitable events. You're always very open and giving of your facility to uh, many different charities and groups. So it, it became the go-to place. And I just remember the purple lights and the very, mm -hmm. very nice, warm environment inside. What is excitingly new about the new Lakeview Pavilion? Are we going to call it the new Lakeview Pavilion or are you just going to say Lakeview? Lakeview Pavilion. Well, I'm going to call it the new <laughs> Lakeview Pavilion uh, with one L. And that's important as we get into uh, how to get in touch with you. And we'll touch on that in a minute. But uh, 
uh, and associates. So what is new about the new Lakeview Pavilion? In, inside, if I go, I'm gonna have, wow, why would I book my place there? Um, I think, well, first of all is the, um, the fact that um, we are always there. We, um, the, the moment that the brand and the groom walk in, walks into the Lakeview, they're gonna meet with my sister and I, and we're also gonna be there the day of their wedding. So it's the special service, the special attention that they get. Um, and then once they walk in, I think the beautiful windows, the cathedral ceilings, mm -hmm. the amazing and beautiful chandeliers, the all white decor, and we kept it all white because we wanted to give the brides and grooms this blank, um, this um, canvas, the, this white canvas that they can bring in whatever color they like. Um, and we also have uh, a package where you know we have this uplighting, um, special uplighting, where you can transform the, the room any color they like too. Really? From blue to uh, from blue, from pink to purple. I like that term, a canvas. And you're wearing white today, so we're going to go with you now, uh, Natalia. So with the uh, with the canvas to be painted, and it sounds as though, and, and this goes back to the old Lakeview, new Lakeview, old Lakeview. I shouldn't say it that way, but I'm going to because that's the way I am. So with the new Lakeview, uh, it's complete wedding service. You'll take care of everything from beginning to end and make it a truly special event for the bride and groom. Absolutely. We meet them at the door, like my sister said, and uh, we plan beautiful ceremonies outdoors or indoors. The way we designed Lakeview can accommodate indoors and outdoors as well. Mm -hmm. We have beautiful uh, white curtains that separates the cocktail lounge areas from the main ballrooms. Uh, it's just a unique okay. spot, a unique uh, place. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm always one to talk about food, so I'm going to ask you about the food in just a second, but uh, while we're letting Natalia think about that answer, I'm going to share with you that you can get in touch with the folks at Lakeview Pavilion by going on to your computer and touching www.lakeviewpavilion with one L.com, lakeviewpavilion.com. You can also friend them on Facebook, uh, Lakeview Pavilion, and you can also Follow them on Twitter. I had to look at my notes because you know I'm not a big Twitter guy, but you can follow them on Twitter at Lakeview45. All that is on your screen, of course, and for those of us who still do it the old-fashioned way, like I did when I called Natalia, you call up 543-9099. That's a number we all know because we've all been fans of Lakeview Pavilion for many, 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 many years. So, the question, is there food? Who does it? Is it good? The food is amazing. This is called a softball question, by the way. Okay. <laughs> well, the way brides and guests have described our food, they always say, oh my gosh, it's such a gourmet cuisine you offer here. Um, we are lucky to have our chef back. So um, you're bringing back the same The chef. same chef. Fantastic. I mean, so people who were fans before, yes, you get the same great product. Absolutely. We couldn't have done this without him. He's amazing. Uh, his food is delicious and he pays and we together as a team we pay attention to every detail and every dish that comes out of our kitchen we make sure that it's delicious and that it looks good and it satisfies uh, anyone's um, appetite what they could want <laughs> all right well we'll give him a shout out then what is his name chris smaller chris smaller all right chef chris if you see me coming two two <laughs> servings please um, <laughs> Uh, just because. So, <laughs> uh, that was probably a shameless uh, <laughs> shout out on my part, but hey, I like food. So, with the dancing uh, DJs, you have to bring your own. Do you supply that also? Uh, we do have a list of uh, that we recommend people that work different with vendors, you. correct? Okay, so you but really do brides, take care of all the pieces then? We can, yes, okay. but um, brides, they are more than welcome to bring their own vendors as well. Okay, super. So, uh, in addition to weddings, uh, we've also enjoyed some charitable events, some dances yes. for the parent teacher organizations. And uh, so, is that going to continue? I imagine you're not going to just cut off the community now. Absolutely. Are you? Gonna, <laughs> okay. So, it's really having old friends come back, and the facility is going to be new and improved, but it's going to be the same warm feeling, right? Yes. Absolutely. And we are proud to say that we have the Fireman's Fall. Um, on September 11th. Uh huh. Yes, and they will be, um, and they invited the um, the firefighters from Foxborough and mm -hmm. the firefighters from the surrounding towns, and they were the surrounding towns towns that they were able to, um, that they were there for the, the night of the fire. Okay, so it was a way to give back and a way of saying thanks. The uh, the firemen's ball. Yes. Well, that's very nice, mm -hmm. and it shows that you've got that connection to the community and that you're giving back. Uh, and hopefully people will give back to you, give back their business. But also I know that a lot of people were touched 
uh, not only through the publicity in, in the paper, but also um, you know, a couple of members of the Board of Selectmen were very moved by the event. They went out there and tried to salvage some things. Was anything salvaged that you put back on the building? A sign, um, maybe? Not yet. They did yet. save the, um, the Lakeview Pavilion sign. Okay. And there's actually a beautiful picture of the firefighters taking it down. We still have that. Okay. It's just been really busy. We haven't had a chance to... But um, at some later date, I might make it. Yes, a little bit. But that was yeah. saved. Yes, okay. it I, was saved. I was just sitting here thinking, I remember that night, and I remember the, the, the calls going on, everybody being very yeah. uh, upset. So uh, you had a lot of people rooting for you, and rooting for your Thank getting you. back on your Thank feet you. and getting the Thank thing you. put back together. So uh, how great is it that business is not only reborn, but uh, you're still here, you seem to have made it, and that you're able yeah. to bring back the people who made it a special place before. So again, I'm here with Natalia and Anastasia, and I am going to ask you to do your own last names because I would butcher it. I'm just a country board from Virginia, so uh, uh, Natalia. Capurilacos. Chumbanos. Uh, see, there we go. I almost could have said it better, but I can't. So, uh, And of course, you can check them out at area code 508-543-9099. Look at them on Facebook. Be their friend. Follow them on Twitter at Lakeview. 45, I had to look again. And also www.lakeviewpavilion.com. We're going to end our conversation because there's so much good footage coming up of the ribbon cutting ceremony that happened on September 2nd, it was a Wednesday. And uh, our own Paul Beck went out and videoed some of the events. So uh, we're gonna leave with that, but I'm gonna give you the last word uh, as we go on. And of course, for those of you who uh, our fans of Fox Sports Central know that if you miss any of this good information, you can always look us up on the web at www.fcatv.org. Click on the link for videos, click on the link for Fox Sports Central, and you can check out this or any of the other wonderful programs here in Fox Sports Central. I'm going to stop you to tell you. Well, thank you for inviting us, and thank you to everyone that uh, helped us make our dream come true and bring Lakeview back to life again. Fantastic. And um, a, a big thank you to the town of Foxborough, to, the, um, to all of the officials, to our neighbors. I mean, we could have not done it without them. Fantastic. Well, ladies, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank and thank I'm you. so thank glad you. to see business back up and I'm sure it'll be booming soon. Thank you. And thank you. until I'm at my next event out there, I hope you will go see Italian Anastasia at the Lakeview Pavilion. So, as we leave you now, let's enjoy this footage from the ceremonies that happened at the official ribbon cutting on Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome, and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day uh, to help us celebrate this grand opening, or actually reopening, of the Lakeview Pavilion. My name is Mike Amato from the Entertainment Specialist, and I am very honored to be part of this beautiful ribbon-cutting ceremony. Uh, today represents a tremendous milestone in Lakeview Pavilion's long history here in the town of Foxborough, as, uh, beginning as auspicious as the day the original Lake Park opened on the 4th of July in 1906. A fire destroyed Lakeview Pavilion on April 5th of 2014. But the blaze never wiped it off the map. The two sisters standing behind me have persevered with support from family, from friends, colleagues, and the community around us. And because of that tremendous support and dedication, ceremonies and celebrations will resume here at the Lakeview Pavilion. Before we start the ceremonies and, and the beautiful celebrations that start here, we have to cut this beautiful red ribbon in front of us. Um, I will turn the mic over to Natalia Kaprilakos and Anastasia Tumbanos, the two sisters, and a few special guests that they have here as well to, to welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for the introduction and for always being such a supportive friend and colleague to us and to Lakeview. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our brand new beautiful Lakeview Pavilion. We cannot believe that this day has finally come. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for joining us here today. We are truly blessed to share this special day with our family, friends, and so many of you who have supported us over the past year and a half. 
We really could not have done it without you. So thank you to town manager William Keegan, building commissioner Bill Caspara, Foxborough Fire Chief Roger Hatfield, Deputy Fire Chief Stephen Bagley, Foxborough Police Chief Edward O'Leary, members of the following boards and committees of the town of Foxborough, Board of Selectmen, Planning Board, Conservation Committee, Zoning Board, and Board of Health. As you know, a fire broke out at the same spot exactly 17 months ago, destroying the Foxboro landmark that for the last 26 years had embodied our life's passion. It is true that we were devastated and heartbroken, but there was no time to mourn and never any doubt that we would rebuild. Fortunately, within weeks, we met with Lua Lovaro of Alovaro Architects, who and knew immediately that he was the architect that could bring the new Lakeview to life. Lou and his team, with their talent, expertise, and creativity, achieved our vision for the new Lakeview Pavilion, taking full advantage of this beautiful natural setting. The end result is simply amazing right out of our dreams. Thank you, Lou. You're we were so <laughs> We were so fortunate to find and hire an amazing general contractor, Stateside Construction. They broke ground in November and since then have worked diligently to make this day a reality. In addition to producing the highest quality of work, each and every member of their team was professional, accommodating, and trustworthy. Thank you. <laughs> also, a special thank you to our project manager, George Curry. Remember all those snowstorms last February? Well, they may have derailed the tea but George helped keep the new Lakeview Pavilion on track. <laughs> right in time for our first wedding. Thank you so much, George. Thank you. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, words cannot express how proud we are of our amazing, loyal, and dedicated staff. Anastasia and I have always strived to create events that exceeded everyone's expectations and to provide the best service in the industry, surrounding ourselves with a team of hardworking, talented, and most of all, passionate individuals has always been our secret weapon. These people are more than employees, even more than members of our team, they are family. A special thanks to our general manager, Patty McCarthy Surface, our controller, Kim Wallace, our event coordinator, Terry Memo, and our executive chef, Chris Muller. You have gone above and beyond, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are ecstatic to be once again working together to create unforgettable weddings and special events in our brand new Lakeview Pavilion. Now I will turn, thank you. Now I will turn the podium over to Anastasia, my sister, who will look ahead to the wonderful weddings and special events we have planned and give you a glimpse into the Lakeview Pavilion. to echo all of the appreciation that Natalia expressed so far. We are still humbled by all of the support that we received since the fire. The groundbreaking ceremony may have been bittersweet, but today we are feeling more excited than ever. We are thrilled that the first of many weddings will take place in just two days, on Friday, September 4th. In addition to a calendar full of weddings ahead of us, we are honored to be hosting the Fireman's Ball on 9-11. We are so touched that the same firefighters who courageously battled the fire that destroyed the original Lakeview will be among the first to create new memories here in our beautiful new venue. The new Lakeview includes two event spaces, 
the Lakeview Ballroom and Gazebo, a grand space which features an exquisite and captivating row of crystal chandeliers and accommodates larger weddings, the Lakeside Ballroom and Terrace, which features a gorgeous white stone fireplace and is the ideal space for more intimate weddings. Separated by a state-of-the-art kitchen, both ballrooms have their own private entrances, bridal suites, restrooms, ceremony sites, and outdoor lounge areas. To us, Lakeview Pavilion has always been more just than just a wedding venue or a building. It is a home. We take pride in our commitment to ensure Lakeview is the perfect setting for dream weddings. Modern, luxurious, dazzling, dramatic, and most importantly, romantic. Every decision regarding the design of the new Lakeview was made with our future brides and grooms in mind. Once you step inside, you will see that we chose elegant white decor so that our new venue will be a blank canvas for couples to make their own. The floor to ceiling windows and the spacious terrace gazebo and decks showcase Lakeview's natural lakeside setting. The sparkling chandeliers and special delighting create ambience and invite all who enter to be swept away. We will forever cherish the 26, of, 26 years of memories from our beloved Lakeview Pavilion and we're looking forward to creating more memories this time with our brand new Lakeview Pavilion. Thank you. Thank you, Natalia, and thank you, Anastasia. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have some uh, very special guests that I'd like to invite up to the podium. First, I'd like to invite uh, Deputy Fire Chief Stephen Bagley, who was here fighting the fire the night of um, the fire. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big warm welcome for Deputy Chief Stephen Bagley. He couldn't make it. He couldn't make it. Okay, he couldn't make it. I apologize. Um, and then we have also Fire Chief Roger Hatfield. <laughs> he made it. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, thank you guys for inviting us to be here. Uh, to think after all that tragedy of that fire and to see this beautiful building come out of the ashes is amazing. And, um, you know, you talked about the fireman's ball. To bring back the historical um, fireman's ball that we haven't had in years is, is really, truly a, a thanks to you folks and the members of our department, and we're gonna really appreciate it. But I also wanna thank uh, all the folks that were involved in building this with Deputy Chief Steve Bagley to ensure that we also built a very safe building. So, um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. We wish you guys the best, and we look forward to our future with you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring up the police chief, Edward O'Leary. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this great celebration today. I had an opportunity a few weeks ago uh, to visit and get a tour of the facility, and it's a far cry from the first time uh, I came to Lakeview uh, for our senior reception. I won't tell you the year, but uh, it was some time ago. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a continuation and a growth of a great family business in our community that provides our community with jobs and opportunity for Foxborough's future. And I commend the family for the effort they put in. Thank you. Thank you, Chief O'Leary. Next. Uh, the town manager, William Keegan. Good morning, everyone, and, and to Anastasia and Natalia, and to your families, congratulations. The town of Foxborough is truly honored to be here this morning for the ribbon cutting of the fabulous new Lakeview Pavilion. Rising from the ashes from that fateful day in April of last year, the dream of this new facility began almost instantaneously. As the ladies scrambled in the days following the fire to honor the commitments of those guests who had booked events at their former facility, they also never let their dreams diminish. As we stand here today, we know that they, these two ladies can dream big and know how to turn dreams into reality. I am very proud of the work that all of our town employees did in allowing today to become a reality. I know that I speak for all of our town staff, boards, and committees 
and welcoming Lake, Lake View Pavilion back, your return is something that everyone in Foxborough should celebrate. While none of us will ever forget what happened last year, today's reopening has cast a much greater impression over the day of the, day of the fire. Today is a celebration of triumph over setback, and more importantly, it marks the start of a new beginning. We could not be happier for you as you begin to record the history of the new Lakeview Pavilion. May your journey be exciting, eventful, and continue to be memorable for both you and your guests. Congratulations to you both. Next is uh, State Representative Jay Barrows. Good morning. And all I can say to add is welcome back. Uh, truly amazing. I was standing here thinking when you described the amount of snow and knowing how much we had last year, it was almost up to there. And how these folks were able to battle through that and battle through everything they've been through and come back and just have the opportunity for all of us to see many, many more memories created. So congratulations for your perseverance and you really did a heck of a job. Um, to recognize today's memorable event from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, be it hereby known to all that the Mass House of Representatives offers a sincere congratulations to the Lakeview Pavilion in recognition of your grand reopening. Uh, the entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses a hope for future good fortune and continued success in all your endeavors. And it's given today, the second day of September, um, signed by Robert Delaire, our speaker, and yours truly, Jay Barrows, your state rep. And again, congratulations. So proud of all of you. Thank you. Next, ladies and gentlemen, Chairman Jim DeBellis. Uh, thank you, everybody, and um, to Natalia and Anastasia with their storybook names and, and your beautiful family. Um, thank you for the invite for, to, to everybody here. Uh, this is a spectacular day. Um, for those of you who are new to Foxborough, coming in for the first time on behalf of the Board of Selectmen, I say welcome. Foxborough is a small town, and we put a lot of pride in community. Um, this family personifies the name community. Um, you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody in Foxborough that hasn't been touched with an event at Lakeview, a fundraising, a town um, community uh, gathering, you know, from the early 1900s when it was built up to the you know, mid-80s when, you, when your family purchased it. Um, and that does not, your, your reputation does not come without hard work. And, and I know you guys put a, a ton of time over the years building the business. And it was devastating when the fire came. It really was. I remember the, the family, <laughs> and this family got together was bigger than some of the family reunions I've seen. It was over there in the corner. And, and, the, and the women here, the girls were, the first thing they said was, you know, is everybody safe? They were concerned more about the firemen that were here early and did the best that they could. But what they kept saying over and over was the brides. And, and I wanted to say, you know, there, there were grooms too, but <laughs> <laughs> they were so concerned with the brides that were scheduled, the safety of everybody here, and they said they would rebuild. And, you know, from day one, and, and I know firsthand because I share an office with where you've been for the last 14, 16 months, they brought file cabinets in that smelled of smoke. They opened them up and they got to work, finding places for all the brides, making sure you know they, they, they started right away. And to build this in 14 months is phenomenal. And, and they did what they said they were going to do. They did it with professional. And you know just to thank you for coming back and, and rebuilding like we had said before. So thank you very much. Next, ladies and gentlemen, on the agenda is the snipping, the cutting of the ribbon. But before we do that, uh, right after the ribbon cutting, I'd like to invite everyone inside. We actually have two ballrooms now instead of one, so we've grown. We have the lakeside ballroom, which is immediately to, if you're facing me, the left. And uh, we have our executive chef, Chris Smaller, who has, and his staff, his talented kitchen team, have pre uh, prepared some delicious refreshments for all of you. And you can make your way across to the other side, which is the right side if you're facing the building, to the Lakeview Ballroom. So there's a lakeside ballroom to the left, and to the right is the more spacious 
Lakeview Ballroom. Both spaces are all dressed up today for weddings. And feel free to step out back and uh, check out the decks and terraces overlooking the lake where the beautiful ceremonies will take place. So I'd like to invite Natalia and Anastasia to please come forward and step behind the ribbon. And I'd like to invite Father Balamos to please come forward and do a blessing first. And I'd also like to ask the family and all of our speakers that we're speaking today to please come forward as well. Father, at this time, Father will take the mic. So many people here, and uh, there are so many prayers. Everyone has a, to say a prayer for you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy Trinity, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who in your inexpressible love visited humankind and bestowed your blessings on all who entreat you, we pray to you and ask of you. Look with kindness on the families of Anastasia Tsumbanos. Natalia Kapurelakos, Stephen Kathy Kurtidis, and bless them and all their undertaking, as well as this beautiful building, the new Lakeview Pavilion. Let your love rest upon all people who work here and protect them against all evil influences. You have told us that there is strength in unity and that a divided house will fall. Help each person here to do their part to make this new building a place where harmony, hard work, and teamwork are manifested. We take a moment to give you thanks for the work of all those who make possible the rebuilding of the Lake View Pavilion by giving so much of their time, effort, and resources. For their caring, we give you thanks and ask for your blessings to rest deep in their hearts today. For you are the God of love, mercy, and compassion for humankind, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Congratulations. All right, thank you, Father. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need all of your help in the audience here. We've got to count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Congratulations, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Lakeview Pavilion.